Okay, well, we've got another day here at Back to Eden Farms. Uh, we've got our farming team here. We've got Jeff Kane, Titus Morris, Rebecca Kane, and Rachel Kane, and Stephanie's behind the camera. All right. And now I'll show you what we're doing today. We've got some little broccoli plants here, and they've been frosted on, so some of them don't look real the very best but um, we are we have some organic fertilizer here and so we are putting fertilizer around the plants and then we're going to hoe the soil and cover up the fertilizer and we've got little weeds starting to come up in here so that will be killing weeds as well as covering the fertilizer at the same time all right are you ready to help me with the fertilizer Let's put fertilizer around it. Yep. I didn't notice in the end it was gonna be down in a circle. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be a circle. But uh there the broccoli plant will put out little tiny roots called feeder roots, and they go out like that. And so the feeder roots are really fine. You can't see them very well. Um, so. They kind of, I feel kind of one I think that was a leaf that came off. See, if we put a pile of fertilizer right here, all the roots would go over there. Um, but we just sprinkle it around. Either way, if we put a, just put a pile in there, it would be okay also. Okay, so we have a little weed right here, and so when we hill the soil around here, we'll be burying little ones like that with the hoe, and, and we'll also be covering the fertilizer up. And Rachel is my little helper, and she's going to learn to hoe also. All right, you hoe that. Good job. Just cover all the fertilizer up, heal it up. Actually, I actually pulled the weed out with the hoe. That's good. Yep, you pull, pull the weeds out with the hoe. That's a good plan. See, we do this side, and then see how Dad went over to the other side? Okay, can you do that? Let's step over on this side. Mm -hmm. Right there. There you go. Good job. All right, you covered up the fertilizer. Excellent. Good job. Gardening is so much fun. What would happen, Rachel and Rebecca, if I wanted to eat broccoli? We have some beautiful little broccolis here. What would happen if I wanted to eat broccoli, but I decided that instead I would plant weeds in here? 
Have you seen the pokeweed? That's the beautiful purple uh, berries, the big leaves. Well, pokeweed is poisonous and it's fun to paint with it. Um, my sister and I, we used to paint with it, but it's poisonous. What if I wanted to eat broccoli, but instead I thought, oh, I'll just, I'll just plant some uh, pokeweed in here. Would that be a good idea? No, no. It's not a good idea to plant weeds. We should only plant good seeds. You know, the Bible says something that is very important. Let me find it. It's in the book of Galatians. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7. It says, Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Do you know what reaping is? Reaping is to harvest. So whatever the Bible is saying, whatever somebody seeds somebody plants, they're going to get that harvest. Hmm. So you know, our our mind is like soil. Whatever we put in the soil here, whatever seed, the rain comes, sunshine comes, and that little seed grows and grows and grows. So just like our mind, whatever we put in our mind is like a little seed. So if we read fiction books, or if we look at bad pictures, or watch movies, or things like that, that's like planting weed seeds into our mind. But when we read God's Word, this is the King James Version Bible, when we read God's pure Word, then we're putting good seeds into our mind. When we read good books and we learn things like canning and sewing and we learn good things, educational things, we're putting good seeds into our mind. Hmm. It says in verse 8, For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. So every person that's been on this earth except for Jesus Christ, put bad seeds into their mind, planted bad seeds into their mind. So we have to ask God, we have to ask Jesus to take those bad seeds, those bad weeds out of our mind. So then the good seeds of truth can grow into our minds. So now we're going to sing a song that will go along with what we just read in the Bible. Come, ye thankful people, come, raise the song of harvest home. All is safely gathered in, ere the winter storms begin. God, our Maker, doth provide for our wants to be supplied. Come to God's own temple, come, raise the song of harvest home. We ourselves are God's own field, fruit unto His praise to yield. Wheat and tares together sown Unto joy or sorrow grown First the blade and then the ear Then the full corn shall appear Grant, O harvest, Lord, that we Wholesome grain and pure may be. For the Lord our God shall come and shall take his harvest home.
from his field shall purge away all that doth offend that day. Give his angels charge at last in the fire the tares to cast but the fruitful ears to store in his garner evermore. Then now, church triumphant, come, raise the song of harvest home. All are safely gathered in, free from sorrows, free from sin. Therefore, ever purified, in God's garner to abide. Come, ten thousand angels, come, raise the song of harvest home. Raise the glorious harvest home. Do you know who tempts us to put bad seeds in our mind? Satan does. God is calling us to plant good seeds into our mind. Okay, let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you so much for these lessons that we've learned in nature. Please forgive us, because all of us have at one time or another put bad seeds, allowed Satan to sow bad seeds into our mind. Please, Father, weed out all those bad seeds, all those bad weeds, Father. Plant your good seeds of truth, of righteousness in our hearts and in our minds. Plant the garden of our mind, the soil of our heart, with your truth, that we could grow up strong and beautiful and be harvested in at the end. Thank you for doing this. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So, Mom was uh, drawing uh, bananas today, and uh, one thing about farming with horses is uh, you really don't have to waste hardly anything. And uh, so the uh, Mom was drawing these banana peels, and now uh, we're going to give a treat to the horses. Would you like to help feed the horses? They worked hard. They helped us plant in the garden today. So now they get to have a tree. All right. They get it to great heart. They're kind of messy eaters. They don't have very good manners. Do you know what Stan Fast and Great Heart are saying? If they could speak English, they would say, Thank you, Rachel and Rebecca, for helping to feed us.